So today we're going to look at MicroPython. We're going to look at some Adafruit devices that allow us to use CircuitPython, Adafruit's version of Python. So let's have a look. This isn't an unboxing. I've already unboxed it, but there's a lot of goodies in here that I want to show you. So let's take these items out and see what we've got. So first we've got a fantastic device. We've got the ESP. So that's not Adafruit. This is a cheap eBay <laughs> device, but it's the uh, ESP12E. So this is a Wi-Fi and Arduino compatible but you can put Python on it, you can put MicroPython on it. That's great. These guys, so this is the Circuit Express. And you can again put Circuit Python on this and it appears as a drive letter. As soon as you plug it into a USB, it comes up as a drive and you can just edit the files and away you go. And on there you can see there's all these colored individually addressable RGB LEDs and you've got a couple of buttons here. As I say it's USB and got a nice way of adding power right there and that comes in really useful especially in this form factor. There's also an on and off switch which is kind of cool as well. This is its little little brother or little sister, I guess sister, because it's a Gemma M0. And this actually comes with CircuitPython already installed, so that's really neat. Again, there's an on and off switch, there's a reset button, there's USB, and you can put power in. It's only got one addressable LED, but it's got these little clip type holes so it's really kid friendly. It accepts 4 to 6 volts but it's a 3 volt device. And you actually have a capacitive touch. You can see that. So I'll actually show that operating using the default code. You'll be able to see that actually work. This is the Feather Huzzah, so remember I showed you an ESP, this is their version of the ESP and it comes in two flavours, the ESP, the 8266 is the little guy, it's a small amount of memory, the processor is not as fast, but it's cheaper and it's very capable. But they also do an ESP32 which is very fast, has more memory a lot more capability. This is the same thing but as a kit and it comes with sensors and all that good stuff. Some LEDs. So what am I going to do with these? I'm going to use all of this to make some robots. So stay tuned for another episode where I'll go into that. But first of all, let's have a look at what you can do just straight out of the box with these guys. As I said, I had to flash Python onto this guy. This is the Circuit Playground Express from Adafruit. I actually got them from DigiKey because the shipping to Canada is a bit bad from New York. So this is some code I've loaded onto my Circuit Express. And as you can see, he plays with the LEDs. So that's the circuit. But this guy actually comes with Python already installed. This is the Gemma. And it's switched off, so we need to switch it on. And what it does is it, it cycles the 
LED, but also it has the capacitive touch and uh, it's actually communicating over the serial connection to say whether it's uh, being touched or not, which you'll not be able to really see. So if I can find it, it turns the red LED on and off, the capacitive touch. Cool, huh? Let's have a look at the code. So first we've got the little Gemma, and as you can see, it comes up as a drive letter. And this is the file we need, this main.py. So I'll just open it. And this is the example code. It's quite straightforward, demo IO demo. So it loads in the touch and uh, various other libraries. Dot star for the RGB LED, it imports time for the timing and various pins in and out. We don't really care too much about any of that. Main thing is when it's running, you see it's outputting the voltage that it's getting from the pin. It says whether the capacitive touch is touched and it goes through a color swirl. Pretty simple, huh? And all we have to do is hit save and it writes away to there. That's good stuff. So I'll eject and I'll show you my Circuit Playground Express. Circuit Playground drive up the external drive. Circuit Pi. This is my code that I wrote here. It's a lot more simple, a lot more straightforward. And all I'm doing is setting some R, G, B values. So the numbers here are R, G and B. And uh, this is a hex version of doing the same thing. I'll just sleep in between the pixel changes. So that's pretty cool too. So there we have it, a quick run through Circuit Python and Micro Python, Python or microcontrollers. We'll dive deeper into this, so if you didn't follow everything, don't worry, we're gonna go deeper and more detailed in future. Until next time, please like, please share, please comment, please subscribe.